stop, gates B32 to B48. Second stop, gates B32 to B48. <laughs> so Josh got on the flight before us because um, he gets priority boarding because he's uh, obviously a business traveller a lot so me and Rob are just out here going on the flight now. Already smells like farts. Come on mate. <laughs> Japanese language on the thing. Oh. Right, let's sit there. So what have we got, what have you got? Uh, Thai chicken, Japanese, right. Japanese fried chicken and you're going to try and use chocolate for good effort. I've got mac and cheese with like uh, olive flour in it apparently. Not going really to use, not going really to use the uh, provided chopsticks for that adventure but Josh is over here, jet set lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have definitely done this before. I have. I'm not going to be able to do that, mate. I'll just keep with my fork. How about that? Why is yours so good at it? Jets are over here. Mate, I wish I was as cool as you. Lovely. You've got practice. <laughs> Yo, we're in a taxi. Oh, look at this. Oh, sick. It's <laughs> <laughs> the hotel. How sick is that? Plastic display, is it? The food that's in the restaurant. It's outside the restaurant when it's not even open. Just have a little nose on. Right, our first 7-Eleven run. Here we go, we're gonna have a little nose round. See what coffees are in there, I reckon. And some maybe energy beverages, because we need it. Let's have a little nose. As Rob just said, it does sound, or smell, or feel like boots. Vanilla coat. Vanilla float. What is that? Vanilla float. Ice cream. Ice cream coke. Oh yeah, yeah. God, so much selection. Yeah. We need something. What do you reckon? I'm ready for a Should we get a rainbow one for a lot? We get a rainbow one. Lovely. No, I don't. I don't really drink coffee, but I'm going to try anyway. I'll do that. <laughs> hot tea in a thing. This is actually hot in here. It's crazy. Lovely little sandwiches. Yeah, look at the little sandwiches. It's crazy. Cheese sauce. Mad. It's like loads of weird stuff. I'm boring. Yeah, oh mate, I'm hungry. Oh, don't worry about that. Sausage. Lasagna. Hello. Look at that. That's going in my basket. Got the uh, Boss coffee. I love the little uh, like parking things here. I know these like are relatively normal cars, but they're just really cool. And the amount of uh, drinks vending machines by the side of the road, or the side of the parks, they're literally everywhere. But you can get these. We'll try in a minute, see how good it is. Literally mesmerized by this place, so it's like, oh, look at that infinity, that's sick. With some, oh, with some thingy, oh, look at wheels. Um, sorry, getting excited over just like mundane cars that are really cool. Yeah, like just everything is really like sort of cute, I suppose, isn't it? But like small and amazing at the same time. So you got this is warm as well, isn't it? It's actually not bad. Warm tea. Yeah. 
from the actual counter yep. bit. This is actually very nice, surprisingly quite, nice. Quite creamy. Quite creamy. Yeah, this feels like tastes creamy. What's yours like? Milk tea. Same with this. Milk tea. Whoa. Is yours cold or warm? Warm. Ah, warm. They're winning with the warm stuff here. I've got a cold over here. So this is the point where we've um, come down to the train station and <laughs> now all looking at this map to work out where we're going. And we, have you found it? Okay. That's, although it's like in English as well, it's highly confusing. We'll get there. We're just waiting for our Uber over there. So we've got our wait to cross the road. Look at this Toyota. Is it an Amazon? Is it a Land Cruiser? It looks like a Land Cruiser. Absolutely mint condition. Literally mint, mint condition. The Uber. I now Lovely. officially want one of them so bad you have no idea. <laughs> what are they called, Josh? Uh, there's two types. There's an Alphard and a Hellfire, I think it is. And I now want one hybrid and, oh, beautiful That's inside. I didn't want to, I didn't want to uh, intrude on his uh, <laughs> space by throwing a camera in his face on that side. So. Right, so we've come to, yeah. what's oh, it called? Guide map and zoo map. I thought he was getting, I thought he was like panda food or something. Trying. <laughs> panda food, trying to get panda food in the background. So we've come to the zoological yeah. gardens. Oh, yes. What did you get in your ticket? Oh, I've got a little, uh, little paw print, mate. Oh, I got Legit a guinea paw pig. Print. Got a guinea pig? Oh, oh. got a little, like, you know, he's gonna panda, win there, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna win, mate. Oh, look how beautiful he is. That's his rear end, though, you don't want to be seeing that. <laughs> Not with, like zooming in on his rear end, but nice big elephant with tusks on her and all. <laughs> so it was 600 yen to get in there. I've just used the uh, calculator that I've got on my phone, and it was four pounds to get in there. So if you were gonna go to Longley or what, how much was London Zoo? Like 35 quid, four quid to get in here. And you can see pandas. <sighs> Oh, what otters. Nah. Oh, they've gone. Okay. That's beautiful bear, that is. Hello, mate. How's it going? Oh, look at you. Look at that. Hello. Hello. And you're oh, he's very wise. Oh, he's, re he's ready to go, isn't he? Yeah. He's wise and will fight. Oh, or they're oh. just gonna hunt. I'm not really sure what's going on now. Okay, oh right, avert the camera. <laughs> Look at this one, he's absolutely massive! Massive! Josh has just pointed out behind us there's a couple of houses. Literally, house there. And there's a bear right there. <laughs> Literally come around the corner to that. What a monster! Oh, you're so oh, beautiful. He's off now, mate. Got some camera, big camera. Oh, he's massive. actually massive. <laughs> so beautiful. Again, just imagine if that was your house, here and there, and then this was like the balcony. Looks onto this. He's slipping. Wow, what a view from a balcony. Actually, massive. <laughs> what the size of it? Okay. Pierce the resistance. Should we zoom right into him? He's full on out, I reckon. Yeah. Look how beautiful he is. Oh, look at you, blurry. He's just a good looking panda. Loving it. So, general summary on what's the zoo called? Oh, I don't know how to say it. So, basically, Tokyo Zoo. <laughs> Tokyo Zoo. Four quid to get in. There's lots of toilets here yep. for families. Heated seats in the toilets. Heated seats in the toilets. A shout out to that. Um, it's actually really clean and nice as well, which is a big, big bonus. Although it smelled like the penguins are smoking weed. I think that's yeah, there's like some serious smellage of stuff. So yeah, um, I would say a couple of hours you could do that. Yeah. If you had a little family, that would be a really good thing to do for them because it's cheap and everyone likes a gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I know it's not car related, but kicking off the video with that is always a good idea and a bit of traveling. But you know, car stuff will ensue. I'm gonna now delete my face out of this part of the video because I don't, it's not about the face, it's about 
going forward. And look at all these high rise flats and stuff. They oversee the penguin enclosure. How sick is that? There we go. 200. 200 yen. It's not bad. Train. Japanese train fun. So 200 uh, yen will get us to one station and I'm assuming it's 200 to the next, which is really cheap. Lovely. Good little ticket that. Huh? Right, now follow Josh. Oh, don't go uh, showing this. Nah, it's got a bit of bacon in there. I've oh, just got a bit of salad, mate. It's all I fancy. It's got Snake. little bits. How much was it? For a foot long subway. Uh, what's that? Six, five fifty yen? That's not bad, is it? Good effort. We jumped back on the train after our cheeky subway and we've come to, as you can see, Mega Web, which is, what is this? A Toyota based thing. It's got Toyotas and stuff so we can see in them. We'll see how good it is. Like this, ooh. So, completely free to get in, which is quite nice. GT86 police car, just over here in one of these huge stack of car parking thingies. How sick is that? Police GT86 in a car stacker. Good start, good entrance. Loads of stuff though in here. Have a little nose round. Look at this, IS200. Legit race car, mate. Look at the brakes on it. That's a bit nice, isn't it? Racing thing, mate. Some funky car we don't get in Europe, apparently. Aqua. Pretty cool, though. What are you saying about that, then? What? Well, I think the other one, the older one, maybe? Looks a little bit better. Someone's got the gangster thing. I know, look at this. It's so aggressive. Actually, sitting through the back window. I, I like the crown though, but I, I'm a bit weird. I like the crown. She's aggressive. We'll just creep up on this, won't we, mate? Because these are like it. Have they got the floating center caps? Yeah, floating center caps. It's like Japan's Rolls Royce. Proper nice. I would 100% have this. 19 million yen. 19 million yen. Get the conversion out. Not sure what that is, but. Yeah, Rob doesn't like it. Rob, do you like it? It's no, right. it's alright. It's alright. It's, all right. it's not a Mark 4 Golf, is it, mate? Let's be honest. Right, look in this, right? Look in this. Oh, I've got a newfound fetish for these, like, people carry a van things. Like, everything's electric, heated. Like, it's actually like a VIP. In so yeah, I know. Just state of that. Another level, isn't it? Let's have a look in the front. Look how nice it is in here. It's like a van, but not a van. It's the car you've always wanted, but it's a van as well. Look at this. Headrest. So what's that? An Aqua GR Gazoo Racing Hybrid, which we will not get in Europe. 100%. Let me know if we do because it's actually really cool. Look at that. With the spoiler in that, the back's cool, isn't it? Spoiler, diffuser. That's a sick little car, mate, that is. Also, over here, Corolla Sport. When did that happen? That's cool. And a turd TRD Corolla. When did that happen? That's not, that's surely not in the UK. Is it? It's got like carbon on it and stuff. That's a handsome looking car, that. That's definitely not available in the UK, that. That looks good, yeah. We like that. Right, shout out Josh. This is what we just got, um, a, Uber in a minute ago and I said I fell in love with it because it's like the ultimate everything. Comfy, big, hybrid. It's just lovely. <laughs> executive lounge. That's exactly what it is on wheels, an executive lounge. We're just trying to find the history bit, aren't we? And uh, we've come into here. Oh, hold on. 
this fucking house is shit. We're trying to find the history of it, which we sort of found. But you have to go through this bit, it's all fancy. which is well fancy. And it looks like you're outside, but you're inside. Do the face thing. Like that. Just like that. Outside but inside. Exciting. Wow, that's a waterfall. Nice. So we found the history bit. We found this absolutely beautiful. We saw one of these in LA, if you guys remember. 1969, 2000 GT. Beautiful car. One to bucket list car forever and ever. Currently in your element, mate. Model cars everywhere. Ooh. Come back into this part. Nice little Mustang there. We all like a Mustang, don't we? This is beautiful, this. 280 SL. It's a bit nice. We like that. DeLorean. Absolute yes. All day, every day. But we'll go downstairs and have a look at the uh, model toys. Model toys. Race cars, more than toys. Come downstairs, look at this. Beautiful car. Come round the corner to another one. Oh. Toyota, what are you doing? GT4, WRC, what WRC? Got me a WRC one of them. GT4, 995. Oh no, it's like, oh, it's so nice. I'd love to drive that. But I'd love to drive this as well, actually. Saying that, look at that. Old school race car. It's a bit nice. Look at the size of the arches on it. It's it's space. Impressive, yeah. These spaces, mate. Massive. Actually, ma it looks wider than it is long. Wider <laughs> than I mean. Crazy. I love this era of Toyota. Rally race cars with all this livery on them. So, so cool. Very rare. Very, very nice. That's been used and enjoyed. Good lads, good lads. Right. Oh, that Lexus. Tokyo nice. Tower. That's a nice Lexus. We'll do a bit of car spotting on the way, alright? Yeah. Nice bit of car spotting. Just gonna wait. Until the light goes green first. And then we'll do some car spotting. We've already spotted a few things, haven't we? Look at that. That's nice. That Lexus has got a nice front grille. I bet nothing interesting comes now. Anything interesting over there? Motorcycle. Subaru Wagon. Lovely. Lovely. Lexus that's going to literally eat people's faces. G Wagon. Good effort. Taxi. Crown. Nice. Look at this little petrol station. Push it. Sick. I can hear an exhaust, but I can't see where it's coming from. Oh. What's that under there? It's a Rolls Royce, isn't it? Okay. Right. It's not. <laughs> Look at that. That is car spotting. It's better. It's got a wall kit on it, isn't it? Walled kitted Rolls Royce Dawn with big dirty wheels on it. Legend. Alright, motorcycle. A little bit of Harley Davidson maybe. I think it's Harley Davidson. As we approach the tower, very nice tower. Oh, look, right, look at this lovely little house. If my camera actually focuses, look at that of a little house. And that little house. Little houses on back streets. This is what it actually looks like. And the back streets are like the cleanest places ever. Clean. Clean. Getting the shots in, looking at that Rob in there. <sighs> Lovely. So, we've got the tickets. If my camera ever actually focuses, there it is. Tokyo Tower ticket. Look at the state of this place. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. This is mental. Wow. Oh my god. Look at this. 
That is literally mental. <laughs> That's worth coming up for, just that view. With the sunset in the background. We that right, didn't we? Ooh. We're that sad, we came up when the sun was setting. <laughs> This. Let's see if we can get any uh, JDM spawners. We're up here. Let's we'll see. All oh, the zoom is strong, but the quality is weak. Can't see anything decent. Shame. Mate, you can do one. I ain't going anywhere near that. Mine's getting a lot of things. Heights is definitely one, unfortunately. RIP. Back down. Absolute monster. Uh, how much was it to get out there? 12, 1,200 yeners. Not bad. Nice views. This guy's got a penthouse up here. He's living the dream. With that as a view, it's a good effort. Coolest thing you're gonna see all day right now. Road legal Mario Kart that you can rent. How sick is that? That's so funny. Well expensive, I bet. Super expensive, but if we had more, if we if we got more friends, I think we could definitely do it. Definitely next time, maybe. First thing I've seen with neons is that scooter. Lovely. Into the night. I'm gonna go get some ramen. Get some ramen. Try out some uh, not haircut place over here, maybe. And try this one. Let's see if we do some good stuff. Look at this though, by night. Ooh, what a place. What a place, mate. Right, so before we actually get into it. Oh, hello. Me and Josh are obviously sharing a room because hashtag it's cheaper to come to Japan if you share a room. This is the sort of size room you'll get in Japan. Uh, what size bed is that, do you reckon? 100%. It's bigger than a single. But it's not quite a double. Good TV. It's actually quite big, considering where we are in Tokyo. Just take you in here. Oh, nice little toilet. Nice little bath. It's actually got a bath in it, which is good. Yeah. Oh, God, you're not going to have cucumbers in your eyes. I'm going to have to be now, mate, after our <laughs> busyness. I'll just check the old... Uh... Oh, look at that. We've got me, you can see me, but you've got a legitimate purple pole oh, and hotel. We've got slippers. We've got slippers, oh my god, we've made it. Lovely. Oh, look at that, it's a little brush. We've got a brush, we've got a shoehorn. Nice. Damn. And USB connectivity. Nice. It's doing well. <laughs> 